to my kitchen. Now recently treat boxes and individual treats have become so popular and if you're looking for some new ideas and some new recipes in this week's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these sweet little hearts. Now these are made entirely out of fudge so they're perfect to add to treat boxes to give us individual gifts or to even use as cake toppers on the top of your cakes. Okay, let's get started. So to make my fudge, the ingredients that I'm gonna be using is first of all, in my saucepan, I've got 240 grams of condensed milk. I've then got 270 grams of caster sugar, 90 milliliters of milk, and this is just semi-skimmed milk. 75 grams of butter, and I'm just using salted butter, but you can use unsalted also. I've then got some vanilla extract, and I'm gonna be using a quarter of a teaspoon of this. Some pink food gels in order to color my fudge. So any food gel is gonna work, and you can make your fudge in any color you like. I've also got some sprinkles, which I'm gonna to use to decorate my fudge. I'm also gonna be using a thermometer. Now, this is a sugar thermometer, and the reason that I I love using this one. With this one, I can just attach it to my saucepan so I don't need to be touching it throughout making my fudge. Now, in order to make my heart-shaped lollies, I'm gonna be using this heart mold. Now, this one is by Sweet Stamp. This is just a silicone lolly mold and has enough space for three separate hearts. So this is gonna be enough ingredients to fill these exactly. Now, the hearts themselves are nine centimeters by eight and a half centimeters. And with this, I'm gonna be using some of the sweet stamp lolly sticks now I will put a link in the description below for all the tools that I've used throughout today's video but if you do want to get one of these molds I do have a 10% off code for you across the whole of the sweet stamp website so to get the 10% off just enter cakes by Linz at the checkout so I'm starting with my saucepan of condensed milk and to this I'm gonna add my caster sugar my butter and my milk I'm going to attach my thermometer to the side of my pan and take that over to my stove. Heat that sugar and butter mixture until it's all dissolved together. So the sugar granules are all dissolved and that butter has completely melted. I'm then at this stage going to add my color. So for this one, I'm using the Wilton Rose. I'm just adding a small amount, just building up that color until I'm happy with my shade of pink. I'm then gonna bring this mixture to the boil. Keep it on a relatively low heat and just wait for that to start to boil up. I'm gonna continue boiling this until it gets to the soft ball sugar stage. And this is at 113 to 115 degrees Celsius. It usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes to get here. And whilst we're waiting for that to get to temperature, I'm gonna gently stir that mixture. Now, if your heat is too high, there is a chance that you're gonna burn the mixture. So you wanna keep it low just until it reaches that soft ball stage. Now just be careful not to splash any of the mixture over yourselves as it is extremely hot. Now once you've reached that soft ball stage I'm going to turn off my oven, add my quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and just stir that through. I'm then going to leave the mixture to cool until it gets down to 110 degrees celsius. Now, whilst it's getting down to temperature, I'm gonna be leaving it alone and not stirring it. Once it's at temperature, I'm then gonna take it out of the saucepan and pour it into my metal bowl, which is from my stand mixer. Now, you can do this process by hand. This is just gonna make it slightly quicker. So I've just got my paddle attachment on my mixer and I'm gonna start mixing this on a medium speed. What we're looking for is to just beat that fudge so that it loses its glossy finish and really thickens up. Once that starts to thicken up, scrape down my bowl and just let it run for a little bit longer. Once it starts to resemble dough, then it's ready to pop into our molds. To decorate my hearts, I'm gonna be using some sprinkles and I've got some of the happy sprinkles. I've got the head over heels mix and also some medium choco balls. Now for two of these designs, I'm gonna be adding the sprinkles before I add in my fudge mixture. And for the last design, I'm gonna be adding the sprinkles once we take the fudge out of the mold. So I'm gonna spoon some of my sprinkles into two of those gaps, just spreading them around. Now, as well as the sweet stamp code, I do also have a 10% off code 
for happy sprinkles which I will put in the description below. So I'm gonna divide my mixture into three, just using a spoon to push that down. I'll smooth down the back. You can also use a rolling pin. And just around the edge, just use your finger just to lightly pull any excess into the mold. And by using the rolling pin, you're just making sure that that fudge is pushed all the way down. Now, if you just wanted to create fudge hearts, you could leave them as they are. I'm gonna be adding in my lolly sticks. Now, if you wanted to use these as cake toppers, instead of putting in the lolly sticks, you can just push in a bamboo skewer or a cocktail stick, and this is really gonna help push them into the cake. Now, the fudge is still slightly warm to the touch, so I am gonna leave these out at room temperature until they've completely cooled. You can pop them in the fridge, usually for around three hours until that fudge has gone on nice and firm and they'll be ready to take out of our molds. Now if you didn't have these molds and you did want to put them into just a normal square baking tin and cut them into rectangles then all you need to do is just double the recipe and then you can add it into a seven or an eight inch tin depending on how deep you want your fudge to be. Okay so once the hearts have been in the fridge for around three hours I'm going to carefully remove those from the mold so for the first design, I've got this fudge heart that's got these sprinkles pushed into the surface. Now I love how this one looks and I'm gonna leave this one exactly how it is. So I'm gonna start working on a different variation of the design. So I'm starting with my plain fudge heart and I've melted down some candy melts into a piping bag. Now snipping off the end, I'm going backwards and forwards across my design. I can then, when they're still wet, add on my sprinkles. Now if you find that your chocolate or candy melts sets quite quickly then you can add on some edible glue and stick those sprinkles down. Then we have a different kind of design to the first one. Now for the third design I've got one of the fudge hearts that's got the sprinkles embedded in the front. Now I'm going to add some words onto this and to do this I'm going to create some ribbon banners using some of the smaller sweet stamp letter sets. So I've got the vanilla set here and it has these really tiny letters which make it perfect for adding text onto our hearts. So I'm just removing some of those letters and you want to use just a piece of fondant or blue tack is always good. Now, depending on who these are for, you could add a name, but as these are for Valentine's Day, I'm going to add on Love is Sweet using the small pickup pad to create a stamp. So first of all, I'm going to start by laying out Love is. So I've got some white fondant. I'm going to roll this out until it's around two millimeters in thickness. I can then take my stamp and just push that into my fondant using a ruler and my craft knife. I'm then going to cut that into a strip and on the end just cut out a V so it looks like a piece of ribbon. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for the word sweet and again if you go to the Sweet Stamp website and you add Cakes by Linz at the checkout you will receive 10% off any of the Sweet Stamp products including their letter sets. To colour these I've got some of the rose pink that I used for the fudge itself and mix it with some edible white food gel. Now to this you want to add a small amount of alcohol or dipping solution to create a nice thin edible paint. I'm taking a really small brush and I'm going to use this to paint inside my letters. I'm then going to take my heart and taking my little plaques on the back just add on some of those melted candy melts and just stick those into place. So there we have our little Love is Sweet fudge heart. So here we have the three different designs of pink fudge hearts. Now you can use these in your treat boxes, you can give them as individual gifts or even use them as cake toppers on the top of your cakes. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and will be able to use the recipe to make your own batches of fudge. Now I will be putting the list of all the ingredients and how 
I made it in the description below this video. If you did like the video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, and you would like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes Balance YouTube channel. You can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button, and this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. So until next time, bye.